Good morning and welcome to Tidbit Tuesday. Um, so I was trying to look over the books. I need to get better about writing which ones I've actually read for you guys, but I don't think I've read this one. So this is The Producer's Unlikely Bride. And if you read The Cowboy's Reality Bride, the host, Justin, um, is the one who appears in this book. So Justin is kind of an interesting character. I'm not going to tell you much about him, but you should read the first book and then read this one to see how it changes. Um, anyway, Justin takes some time off to go and like get himself together. And he goes to this cabin that he thinks he has rented by himself, but not quite. So here we go. He turned the handle expecting to find it locked, but the front door swung open. That seemed rather trusting of the rental company. Weren't they afraid someone would come in and steal things? But the place was secluded. Maybe they left it unlocked because no one would ever find it without a map. Or perhaps the cleaning crew left it unlocked while they cleaned. Justin shut the door behind him and took in the room. Or maybe it was unlocked because there was nothing here to steal, he thought with a sigh. The simple room bordered on being drab. Nothing sat atop the fireplace mantle. Only a few pieces of artwork hung around the room and even the bookshelf held slim pickings. Worn furniture completed the room. Yep, that hammock was looking better by the minute. Justin left his suitcase by the door and continued farther in. A kitchen appeared on his left, nothing fancy, but usable. He opened a cabinet door, surprised to find food inside. Peter hadn't told him he'd need to bring his own food, but he would brought a few things just in case. It was nice of the company to stock food, but he wondered if this was for him or left from the previous guest. A glance in the fridge revealed fresh milk and a case of Code Red Mountain Dew, his favorite drink. He had no idea how they knew about that, but he didn't care. A cold beverage sounded perfect right now. He swiped one from the cardboard box, popped the lid, and took a satisfying swig before continuing down the hallway. There were only two more doors, which meant either two bedrooms or perhaps one bedroom and a bathroom, though he rather hoped it was the former. It wouldn't really matter since he was the only one living here, but he hated having to leave the comfort of his bedroom to use the bathroom. As he pushed open the door of the first room, the sound of running water carried out. The cleaning crew must be working in the bathroom. He stepped inside and the sound stopped. Had he imagined it? A floorboard creaked. No, someone was definitely in the bathroom. His eyes darted around the room for something he could use as a weapon in case it wasn't the cleaning staff, but there was nothing. The room was sparsely furnished, just a bed and a dresser, but what his eyes did land on was the suitcase. It was definitely not his suitcase. He'd left his by the door and it was black, not the bright purple color staring back at him. So then whose suitcase was it? The feminine scream gave him only a second to respond before a crazed wet creature in a towel flew at him. So if you want to find out who that is, of course, you're going to have to read the book, The Producer's Unlikely Bride, and I will put the link on the screen. See you guys.